Eleanor is five months old and she's officially at risk of contracting tuberculosis. Because of where she lives, the NHS says she needs the vaccine for TB, the BCG. But she hasn't had it because the NHS doesn't have enough of it. If she goes to the playgroup and then catch something, she can die. Her mum, Lydia, says she's been sent in circles by GPs and health visitors that they all know there's a vaccine shortage, but no one seems to know what's being done about it. You feel like very vulnerable, you know? Your baby's exposed to something. It is quite serious disease, and nobody's telling me what I'm supposed to do. You know, here, I cannot get any vaccine, and they don't even know when it's going to be established. You might think fatal lung infection TB is part of Britain's past, but there were 5,500 new cases here last year. That's one of the highest infection rates in Western Europe. And that's why the NHS recommends that in high-risk areas like parts of London and Birmingham, all new babies should get a vaccine. But since supply problems started in March, over 20,000 high-risk children may have gone unprotected. The vaccine's aimed at developing countries, so it's cheap, but that means there isn't much profit in making it. This is the BCG vaccine that I got as a teenager, made by a British company until 2002. Since then, we've had this, a vaccine made by a Danish manufacturer, but in February of this year, it stopped production altogether. And a leading researcher told us this could be causing a crisis that we can't yet see because disease can take many years to develop, we might see what the impact was of this BCG shortage um, today, this year, last year. Um, but it might take us a long time to gather that data. And then we'll look back and, um, you know, and we'll wonder why we didn't do something about it at the time. But it'll be too late. But it'll be too late, yeah. The vaccine shortage is only half the problem. The other half is the health service communicating to new parents about what they can do. So who's to blame for this communication breakdown? I'll try and get your head around this. Public Health England told us it has secured limited supplies of a vaccine, but it's down to local providers or CCGs to work out who should have it. One of those CCGs told us it's passed on all the right information to GPs and it's down to them. But some GPs said they haven't had the information they need from Public Health England. What's the problem here? As a GP, you're used to helping, and frankly, as I always say to my registrars, I don't need to know the answer, but I need to know a man who does. The problem is, at the moment, I don't know a man who does. Nobody's telling us anything. Hey, no. Health experts say to contain TB now, we must know who, like Eleanor, has missed out so they can catch up later. But Public Health England told us they don't know who's missed out because they haven't been keeping records. Was that a big mistake? It will be years before we find out. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.